So Dolores, what are the top things students should consider when deciding on a graduate program? I think the biggest thing is knowing where you want to head in your career. Um, because if you want to be a psychologist and you would like to work with the counseling clinical side of things, that's a pretty set path for you, meaning that you have to complete an internship, go to an APA accredited clinical or counseling psychology program, get your doctorate. Um, but if you're more on the teaching side of things, if you want to be a coach, that path would look different. So if you're uh, teaching, you could probably do more of a sports psychology exercise science type of degree. And coaching, you could even stop at your master's degree and probably be well ahead of most other coaches. So I think the most important thing is for students to have an idea of what they want to do and then figure out how to get there rather than saying, I want this thing and hopefully it works out for my career path. Jack, what do you look for in potential graduate students? I think what I look for most in a potential graduate student is really passion. I want to find a student who's, who's really gone out of their way to, to get experiences in sports psychology to, that you know, allow them to you know, show me that, that they're truly in it for the long haul, that they really understand what sports psychology is, and they're trying to get those experiences that are going to help them develop as people and professionals. Beyond that, though, um, you know, that's, that's part of the interview process, but beyond that, I'm really looking for somebody who has done their homework on me and on our program. Uh, you know, when a student applies to our program, I really like for them to be able to tell me why our program is the right place for them. And what that means to me is that they have, you know, they understand what our program does and what our program does well and they show me what their final goals are and they can make a connection between where they want to be and how our program's gonna help them get there. And, you know, because if a, if a student applies to our program and they are the best academically prepared student, but I don't feel as if we're a strong program to help them reach their goals, it's wrong for us to bring them into our program and vice versa, it's wrong for our program. I mean, we need to have a connection with the student to know that our program has the resources to get them to where they want to be. Beyond that, I look for students with good personalities, students who really want to be engaged and, and are looking for an environment that allows them uh, you know, to excel and, and learn the, the, the skills that we're going to be teaching them and put leadership into practice. What are some useful resources for students who are looking at programs? The number one is students who are already there. Uh, most program directors are happy to give out emails of their students that can talk uh, sort of behind the scenes what it's really like to be in that program. Here's the things that I like, here's the things that I struggle with, here's what our training opportunities are like, this is what our classes look like on an average basis. That information is really, really valuable for prospective students. So I'd say that's overall the number one thing. Um, and then I sort of backing that up, I would never say no to a campus visit, especially if you are going to be spending two to five years in a place, you want to make sure that you'd be happy there, that you'd be comfortable there, that it's your kind of town that you could live in and make a home for yourself because the last thing you'd want is to be uncomfortable for five years while trying to pursue a master's degree or a doctoral degree. With regards to graduate programs, could you talk a little bit about the difference between clinical and perhaps educational graduate programs? Um, you know, there are different sets and this, this is a very important question. Students need to understand what their end goals are. And in the long run, they need to apply to the program that's going to get them to their end goal. Some students do have a desire to be able to be licensed as psychologists or licensed as counselors. And they need to understand that some programs lead to that direction and others don't. So it's very important to understand what is clinical sports psychology and what is more performance enhancement based sports psychology and apply to the appropriate programs. Um, so those programs that are more clinically based are going to be housed more in counseling or counseling psychology or clinical psychology programs. Those that are more performance based might be housed in schools of education or physical education and they're going to have very different endpoints. It, it's not that one of these degrees is better than the other, they're just they're different paths. So what are some um other important information students need to know when picking a program? Mm -hmm. um, I think the biggest thing is looking at who's there. If there's someone there that you're really interested in their research or you really like the programs that they have there, the opportunities, that's something important to know ahead of time so you know if you'll be a good fit. I think oftentimes students forget that 
just as much as we want to be a part of the program, that program wants us to be there too. So it's a two-way street. Um, and so instead of thinking, well, I have to, um, you know, go out of my way to make sure this program likes me and they pick me, uh, students really need to know that they're a valuable commodity too, and it should be a good fit for them as well.